Hey, we're here at the UFC training facility and we're about to do some training. With Cowboy and Kane, man, they're dominant in the ring, or in the octagon, I should say, not the ring. Uh, Ty and I are looking to have a lot of fun. Hopefully I don't get hurt. I don't know about you, I've never done this, <laughs> yeah. um, so it'll be interesting. I think the biggest similarity between the two sports is uh, learning how to relax and kind of let it come to you a little bit. You get so tensed up in racing, you, you get tensed up on restart, start of the race, qualifying, you want to run that fast lap, but once you slow down and let things come to you, you end up becoming a better racer. And I think it's the same thing for fighting too. If you're too tensed up, you're going to get worn out quick and uh, you're going to get knocked out quick. So we got a long races that we have to stay focused for, trying to keep our car going in a straight line, you know, not crash it, but put it on the edge uh, here. Uh, you got to stay focused on what you're doing, but you also got to worry about what everybody else is doing or the other guy is doing, and in our case, on the racetrack, what everybody else is doing. You know, you got to stay focused as you're trying to push it to the limit. Uh, yeah, working out with them is fun. It's good to see other professional athletes come over from other sports and try and do our sport. You know, it's a lot of fun. Just getting the coordination, the timing down. You know, they, everyone's got the right hand bar punch, but trying to put it all together with kicks and punches is, is interesting. With every sport, people that don't don't know it unless they actually do it, there's a lot more technique and a lot more involved than what people see. You know, my train of thought was, you know, thinking about punches, kicks, uh, my footwork, uh, and I forgot to breathe. Uh, so that was the big thing is that really turned it into a pretty intense workout was uh, was not breathing as I was doing everything because my train of thought was all over the place. I like anything where I get to feel superior to other athletes. And this is kind of my home, the tough gym, and we're doing something that I'm arguably an expert at. So it was fun. I got to pretend like I know things and stuff. Although they did pick it up quite nicely. I feel confident if there's a wreck and a fight, you know, breaks out, that they will be okay. And if they're not, I'm going to be very disappointed. I gained so much respect for just their training and um, you know I, I do train for racing but it's not at this this intensity and this level with these kind of moves and stuff and I think it's it's really cool to train your body in a different way even for a different sport.